What is up, everybody? Keith Jameson, go back here, guys. 31 and so we're here for another update episode, however you want to call it, of the $250.1 ETH challenge. I'm going to go over last week's results and then the team put together. Just first off, I want to thank uh, for all the awesome messages. Uh, I was trying to get this out last night. Son was sick, going 100 times better. You'll probably hear him in the background here, but he's back back to himself. So uh, let's just get right into the teams. Um, it's not going to be a long video, um, but let's just get a quick update of last week. And then I'll show you to the team that I put together to uh, for this week's where I actually did put it into the special weekly. So hopefully um, that would be awesome to get something out of it. I have don't have the highest hopes, but you know, this is what we play the game. You never know. All right. So last week you can see we finished 20 away from a tier three. Um, God, it was actually close. Uh, Larson actually had a big chance missed. Um, he sold on. I'll go over the results here in a minute. Burnbaum and Nahar were fine. And then Odvesky, our, our young Russian guy, Russian keeper, um, who I mentioned, um, he actually made us a ton of profit in terms of selling on. I'll go over that in a minute. But, um, you know, had a lead going into about like, what, like the 65th minute, conceded two. So that was rough. Um, you know, he keeps a sheet there and we have a reward. But anyhow, uh, let's real quick show you the results in terms of selling on. So as we see, Larson was pop 0.012, sulfur 0.008, minus 0.004. Nahar, Burnbaum, and Odovesky, Odovesky being the big one, sold for 0.091. During the rush when he started midweek, was able to get off of him. Um, so we had a profit on those guys of 0.0271. Uh, if we look at the team this week, and I'll, I'll go to the other screen for it, but we had Remy Walter, who I love the matchup. I love SC, uh, Sporting Kansas City's matchup at home versus Houston, who I don't think it's good. May get good by the end of the year with Hector Herrera coming in, and so we're really going to solidify that midfield. But right now, Houston should not be a good team. Sporting Kansas City coming off of, um, you know, really not a good game at all away to Atlanta. Going home, I think it's going to be ruckus. I think uh, Sporting might win like 3 nothing. So that kind of shows in the lineup. But Remy Walter took a monopoly of sets. Uh, I like him a lot at point oh one one. Um, Tim Melia, that's where a ton of our budget goes. We talked about this over and over again in um, limited. Let me just go over to the other screen, just a, a better view for you. Um, there we go. Unfortunately, the um, trying to do the right word, Twitter data doesn't have the game week loaded yet. But um, you know, Remy Walter, I'm captaining. Um, Camellia cost the majority of our budget at 0.074. I'm actually kind of annoyed that right now he, I was the cheapest in the market to get back off of him. And somebody just like way undercut it. Like, you know, he was going in the 0.07. So I was hoping just to maybe get off for a small loss. And somebody just posted one for 0.006. So that could be a tough one. Tim Melia may be on the team for a while. But um, again, I think he has a decent shot at a sheet. Uh, then we had, didn't have much budget. Remy Walter is 0.011. Um, Tanane um, is back in the, looks like he's finally like solidified his starting spot. If you remember back to Vitini, Vitesse day, I think that's how you say it. Tanane could absolutely mash. Slight home favorite. Uh, I think he could do really, really well. Um, you know, I, and I do think that if he does really well, he finally gets a decisive action, there's a really good shot too that we're going to be able to sell him on for a profit. So like Tanane, Felipe Hernandez, um, SKC's midfield is absolutely wrecked. Uh, he should get the start here. Again, I've already talked about how much I like sporting Kansas City. He was super cheap, 0. 0.004 um, to pick him up. I actually already had him in my gallery. So I took, when I was making my team, I took whatever the cheapest was as the valuation. But Felipe Hernandez, um, before he was suspended for the season due to gambling, it's a tough story. We're not going to touch it. But um, he was starting to mash. Young kid. Um, he is more of an attacking midfielder, too. Um so I, I think there's a really good shot that he could get involved. If they get three, nothing is a good shot. He gets a decisive. So I like him. And then finally, Andre Salmer um, was one of the first guys I uh, scouted for this week. Um, Red Bull is a minus 700 favorite. I don't love fullbacks on the system, but when you get fullbacks in a very, very favorable matchup where they're going to be in the attacking third, while they're going to lose possession a lot, they're going to get those final third passes. They're going to get uh, crosses into the box. Ulmer can take some sets too. If we get a decisive action on top of a clean sheet, he could very well get into the 80, 90 range. I really wanted to captain him. It was Walter or um, Ulmer for captain. I went with Walter. I think there's a little more security there. Um, the more I'm thinking about it, obviously the game week's locked, but the more I'm thinking about it, 
and this special weekly, and let's just go over why we did the special, right? So we got 400 limited cards, which, you know, percentage of cashing here is not great. We got three uniques, 47 super rares, 50 rares. Like this is one of these, like you got to shoot your shot if you have a limited budget and you get one of these weeklies where limiteds are involved. Like, I don't think that this lineup, I, I, I'm not sitting here going like this lineup is going to be top three, but let's just say you just get the positive one to 2% of outcomes here on a 0.1 budget. Let's say you even went a tier three rare. That's worth, my last tier three rare was worth 0.12. So we're already over what we're at, right? So we can still sell on our players for probably 89% of the value, sell our reward at maybe 90, 95% of his value. And all of a sudden now we're working on a 0 0.2, 0 0.23 budget. Like, so these are the kind of shots that you need to take um, to eventually, you know, hopefully keep building this budget up. What's the goal of this challenge? What's the goal of anybody on so rare? We want to keep, we want to get profitable. We want to build our teams up. We want to get the better players, whether we have 10 ETH to splash and we can do it right away or if we've got to build slowly. So, you know, hopefully this challenge is showing you some ways to do that. And hopefully you can start winning some more awards and start really having some fun with it. So hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, make sure you tune back in on Monday to the channel. I'm going to do the MLS breakdown. I got a lot of positive feedback on that from the previous weekend. So I um, hope you enjoy that. And then next week, hopefully a lot more content from me um, to have the sick kid uh, on top of some other work responsibilities. Um, so really looking forward to getting more content. I truly love this. So if you um, enjoy the content, please just you know leave me a comment, shoot me a DM. Um, let me know if it's good, what else you would like to see. Um, certainly want to make this a incredibly fun channel for my fellow so rare enthusiasts. All right, that'll do it. So this is Keith Jameson, aka Gear Guy 31 and so rare. Good luck this weekend. With that I'll say, see you.